So what we have here is a drawing of the very first hot water heating system ever proposed, and it was done by Monsieur Bonimon in France in 1777, when America was still involved with the revolution. And it was proposed for the purpose of hatching chicks for the Paris market. So down here you've got what we might think of as a really early boiler. It was really just a kettle that was filled with water and heated with wood. And in the top there's a pipe that comes out and rises all the way up to the top of the system. And then it just serpentines down through the building, back and forth, all cast iron pipe, maybe wrought iron pipe in that day, I imagine, and discharges back into the bottom of the vessel, as you would with a water heater. It's kind of like a dip tube in the water heater that introduces cold water into the bottom, because hot water is lighter than cold water, so the hot water would rise and the cold water would fall. And this is what you call a gravity hot water heating system. Up here at the top of the system, you've got a funnel, and that was used to fill. So they would carry buckets of water up to the top and just pour it down. Everything would come up to the top. Water seeks its own level. And this is the vent for the system. It's an overflow pipe that would go into a, a tank. And if too much water came out, it would just spill over into the tank. And there you have your very first hot water heating system. Everything we do to heat our homes with hot water started with this system back in 1777. So there's a picture of the very first time it was ever done.